In this tutorial, we are discussing the CES-3, a back pressure control unit for exhaust valves, including the remote control and software Capristo Control Center that goes with it. The CES-3 is a control unit that measures the back pressure of the exhaust system using a pressure sensor and switches one or two solenoid valves at adjustable back pressure values. These solenoid valves then guide the car's back pressure to the exhaust system's vacuum devices and control them. The exhaust valves can be opened at two different back pressure values to choose from. That means that you can determine if the valves open earlier or later. The higher the threshold, the later the valves open. In addition, the valves can be permanently opened. The idea behind this is to optimize performance. We have set three modes for this. Cruise, Sport and Open. In the Cruise mode, a low noise development has priority. In general, a higher back pressure threshold is set so that the valves can stay closed at a moderate driving style. In case a temporary higher power is demanded, the valves have to open in order to protect the engine. Thus, the highest possible back pressure is limited to 200 millibar. The default value is 150 millibar. In the sport mode, a maximum engine power has priority. That is why here the valves are already open at a lower back pressure. The threshold for the best overall engine power can be determined on the motor power testing station. The default value is 80 millibar. In open mode, the exhaust valves are permanently open. The open mode has a higher ranking city mode which closes the exhaust valves as soon as a speed of 50 km per hour is driven for 30 seconds. The parameters for this detection can only be adjusted by authorized experts. More about this later in the software explanation. The CES-3 is able to control two valve systems and multi-sound systems with four exhaust valves. The shipment further contains the software Capristo Control Center, up to two solenoid valves, all cables and hoses, as well as two key fobs. We will deliver a separate vacuum pump for vehicles without back pressure connection. With the remote control, several modes and important adjustments can be set. In addition, information about the mode, back pressure and overall status can be retrieved and shown on the car radio's display. The car radio receives these pieces of information through an RDS signal from the control unit. The CES-3 is supplied with two key fobs which are already registered to the control unit. All in all, seven key fobs can be registered to the unit. Furthermore, all registered key fobs can be deleted. With this specially dedicated software, Capristo Control Center, a vast number of values within the control unit can be set and retrieved. For example, the modes, the back pressure values, G-Force and many more. The software and the CES-3 unit are connected wirelessly per Bluetooth. You therefore require a Bluetooth-capable PC. You can use the control unit for three different situations. Firstly, cars with a two-valve system and with an already available back pressure connection. Secondly, cars with a four-valve system and with an already available back pressure connection. Thirdly, cars with a two-valve system but without a back pressure connection. When the car does not have a back pressure connection, an extra vacuum pump is installed which will deliver the required back pressure to the exhaust valves. Socket can be used either for the solenoid valve or for the vacuum pump, but not for both. The middle socket is a dedicated solenoid connector and at the same time serves as a power supply. The right socket has the antenna cable, which sends the RDS information to the car radio. It is also the ground wire for the power supply. At the very right is the connection for the back pressure hose, leading to the exhaust system. This back pressure hose has a ventilation valve which ventilates the hose when the gas pedal is released. Five things to consider during installation. Firstly, the rear of the CES-3 housing has a ventilation hole for the internal pressure sensor. It must not be closed under any conditions. 2. This area of the housing must stay accessible in case a key fob has to be registered or erased. 
a hidden read switch is located here. When a new key fob has to be registered, quickly wipe this spot with a magnet. The RC LED on the control unit will light up. Shortly press button 1 on the key fob. The RC LED will turn off. Press button 1 again and the RC LED blinks until the new key fob's registration process is completed. The key fob can now be used. The key fobs can only be erased altogether, not individually. To delete all key fobs, hold the magnet to this spot for at least 10 seconds. The RC LED will light up. Remove the magnet after 10 seconds. Now the LED will blink for some seconds until all key fobs are deleted. 3. The ends of the two antenna cables must be fixed as far apart as possible to a grounded metal element. They then resemble a ring antenna. The smaller the distance of the two cable ends is, the weaker the transmission power of the CES3 becomes. When the car radio does not receive an RDS signal, the distance between the cable ends must be increased. At the same time, these antenna cables are also the ground wires for the power supply. 4. This device may come without antenna cable. In that case, only the ground wire has to be connected. 5. This connection of the solenoid valve must not be used. The magnetic valve has a fuse of 2 amps and the optional vacuum pump has a fuse of 15 amps. The control LEDs of the control unit represent Data. Bluetooth data is being retrieved from the software. Connect. A Bluetooth connection is established. FM. The FM transmitter for the RDS signal is active. Status. The control unit is operating. RC. Commands from the key fob are being received. You can do the following with the key fobs. 1. Invoke the modes Cruise, Sport and Open. Shortly press the buttons 1 for Cruise, 2 for Sport or 4 for Open. 2. Retrieve the pressure, total status or mode of the control unit. Press button 3 several times. 3. Choose the alternative RDS frequency of the control unit. Press buttons 3 and 4 at the same time for 5 seconds. The FM LED flashes twice. 4. Invoke the setup. Press buttons 1 and 2 at the same time for 5 seconds. And choose between sound 1 and sound 2, only applicable with 4 valve systems. Press button 1 or button 2 for 5 seconds. Sound 1 or sound 2 will shortly appear. And the modes will be extended with an additional 1 or 2. In particular, Cruise 1 or Cruise 2, Sport 1 or Sport 2, and Open 1 or Open 2. Within the setup, you can adjust the back pressure values in which the valves open in the modes Cruise, Sport and Open. Choose the favorite in which the car starts. Choose the language in which the information is displayed on the radio display. Choose between a two-valve system and a four-valve system or a two-valve system with vacuum pump. Reset the pressure sensor. For this, the engine must be turned off. Set up the vendor. In order to do so, a code is necessary. Within the setup, the buttons have the following meaning. 1. Backward or minus. 2. Forward or plus. 3. Escape, backward or cancel. 4. Enter or confirm or save. To get to the setup, press button 1 and 2 at the same time for 2 seconds. Setup appears on the display. To get to the first parameter, go to the right with button 2. The menu item Cruise will appear. Now you can go down to the parameter with button 4. You change the parameter with minus, button 1, or plus, button 2. After changing the value, confirm with button 4. If you do not want to save the changes in the parameter, cancel with button 3. You automatically get one menu level up. To exit the setup, press button 3 again and the display shows OK. In comparison, the menu items Zero Adjust and Vendor will end the setup directly after use. With every press of a button, the control LED on the key fob will light up. If it does not light up, 
The battery needs to be replaced. For that, remove the three little screws on the rear housing. The key fob is supplied by a 12 volt cell of type 27A. Let's make a complete walkthrough of the setup. Press button 1 and button 2 at the same time for 5 seconds. Setup appears on the display. Then press button 2 and the menu item Cruise appears. Now press 4 to get to the parameter of Cruise. Now we change the default value of 150 millibar to 160 millibar by pressing button 2 for plus. We confirm these changes by pressing button 4 and automatically get back to the menu items. Now we go to the next parameter by pressing 2. Sport appears. We again go into the parameter with 4 and change the default value from 80 millibar to 70 millibar by pressing button 1 twice. Again, we confirm these changes by pressing button 4. After that, we go to the favorite parameter by pressing button 2 again. Also here, we go to the parameter by pressing button 4. We can choose Cruise, Sport or Open. We choose Cruise with button 2 and confirm with button 4. The next parameter, Language, is reached by pressing button 2. We press button 4 and change the parameter again with button 1 or 2. We can choose Italian, English or German. We choose English and confirm with button 4. Now the item Exhaust Type follows. We go into the parameter with button 4 and change it with button 1 or 2. We choose between 2-valve system, 4-valve system or vacuum pump and confirm with button 4. We move on to the next parameter called Zero Adjust with 2. After using this parameter, you will automatically exit the setup. The immediate closing of the setup after change also occurs in the last parameter, Vendor. We now invoke the setup again to change the last point by pressing 1 and 2 for 5 seconds. By pressing button 2, we go to the last parameter, Vendor. We jump into the value by pressing 4. Here you'll be asked for the 5 digit code. Background being, as vendor you have the option to display your name on the radio. For this, we will generate a unique code for you. If you are interested, please contact us. This tutorial will later be extended with the software part.